Okay guys, welcome back to another video of the USB 3.0 game capture live streaming instead of using the Elgato. This is just a follow-up video because a lot of people have been asking and thanks for supporting the channel um, whether this can be used on a Windows laptop. So I have a Windows laptop here with me and here's the instructions for the um, capture card that it works on a Windows. So I'm gonna test it out and guide you guys through this. Just put there. So if you need to pause or whatsoever, you can see the instructions here. All right. Okay. So first up, I plug it in. This already comes with the capture card, and it says we're setting up the Easy Cap U3 capture. So. That's first step. Okay, same setup guys. So the USB 3.0 which is from the Easy Capture Card. And you have two HDMI because I'm going to connect it to the TV which you can see right now. So this HDMI which is directly parallel to the blue one is from the Nintendo Switch. See? Alright. And then the other one is another HDMI which you need to get yourself and plug it into the TV HDMI, all right? The media player and somehow that doesn't work. It says that my capture card is not working. So I'm not too sure what that means or why that's happening. So you see if I do this, object open capture device and let's say I just do TV it just it just doesn't load so i'm not too sure what why that happens download obs studio okay which i have same step as the uh one on mac see the screen like this uh and then just go to sources and then add as you can see here, video capture device. Okay, so whenever that is, just okay that. And your device change to Easy Capture U3. Okay. I'm not going to touch the other things first because I have no idea how this works on. Oh, look at that! Now displaying on the screen, which I finally got it done. Oh gosh, okay, so... Everything, I just left it the same. Just try and see whether that works first. Jane is playing the Animal Crossing. I shall start recording this and see how this goes. Alright, it started recording. Let's see whether there's any output. Now the output I can hear is from the TV. Okay, so once you're done, then just go to file and show recording. Let me just play that. And there you go. With the video and audio. It looks a bit grainy. Oh gosh, so annoying. So hope this video for you Windows user help. I'm sorry if you can't find the... Um, this version anymore on on Shopee or any kind of like platform but if you can uh, find this I think it's pretty good it's no longer the price that I've mentioned it in the previous post uh, according to some people and you might be able to find similar ones but if you have the same one as me feel free to refer to this video as a guide for you to set it up and hope this helps Give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, like, and if you want to see more contents like this, feel free to ping me and put the comments below. Thank you guys and see you in the next vlog.